Hello and welcome to another after the pen video. I almost said plan with me video. <laughs> the amount of times I've said plan with me video kind of just fell into, uh, fell out of my mouth. Okay, another after the pen video where I take you along with me each day as I fill out my planner. Here's the big question though, as I'm about to write in this, do I write with blue or black? Ugh. We're gonna do black because I'm just comfortable with it. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. Today is Monday, April 17th. Um, I'm going, mm, why do I feel like black is the wrong choice here? Oh, this is gonna be a struggle in all of my planners this week because all of my planners are blue and yellow. Do we do the blue or do we do the black? Oh, I can't decide. Okay. I think, I think we're going to do the black, at least in this planner. I don't know. I might change my mind for one of my other planners. Okay. Um, I'm going to write today. Here. And I gotta tell you, I had a hard time getting up this morning. I don't know if it's because it's raining outside. It's Monday. Last night, the Love is Blind live reunion ended up not being live. And there was like an hour wasted waiting for Netflix to load. But I am just not feeling it. So um, I hit the snooze button, which I never do. So as a result, I did not work out this morning. So I'm going to write it here. We're also going to do a habit tracker of exercise. Um, it may seem repetitive to write it in both a habit tracker. Actually, it is kind of repetitive because I'd check it off over here. So we're gonna cross that off. That's not what I need a to-do list for if I have it over here. Okay, other habit is going to be read one hour. I haven't been great about my daily reading. I'm on track with my April reading goal, which is six books and I've read five, but I'm not doing it as consistently. I'm doing like a lot over a day or two. So I'd like to really get back on track with like daily reading. All right, anyway, today I need to email, um, it's gonna sound funny, actually my high school photography teacher. She's doing a series where she recreates photos that she took of students back in the day. And even though I graduated high school 18 years ago, um, she, had, she, wants, she has a photo, some photos of me that she'd like to recreate. So she sent me an email yesterday. I was at my niece's soccer game. I didn't get a chance to email her back. So I need to do that today. Also, I need to jot down a sports schedule because I have an app that shows both my niece and nephew's games. But yesterday we got access to, well, I have an app that shows their soccer games. Yesterday we got access to the app that shows their baseball and softball games. What I didn't realize is my nephew is playing in two baseball leagues. So they each have soccer. He has rec baseball, travel baseball, and she has softball. That's five games a weekend. I don't believe I'll be able to go to five games a weekend. So I really need to just like go to all the apps get it down on paper and map out where I'm going to be going and when, which also probably means that I'm going to be pushing hard to get content and plan with the least things done during the week so that I can have that time on the weekend. Right now, I'm in a pretty good book position. I have one video left in April that has to be filmed, but I'm waiting on product to come, so I can't do it yet. So right now, I'm actually planning through the first week of May, which is great because it feels really good. I just crossed something off in my other planner because I realized that video was filmed. Um, it feels good to be ahead. All right, this is a very long first step of the video. Um, I'm gonna switch. All right, we gotta update my budget. I told you I'm feeling tired this morning because today is payday. So we're going to update budget. I need to talk to my realtor because I'm supposed to be seeing a house tomorrow, um, but I just wanna confirm, because I haven't heard back, just to confirm time and all of that kind of stuff for manana. And then I don't have my photos taken for the rest of this week. So 
I'd like to do that. I have my photos taken for today and tomorrow, but I don't have the rest of them done. So like I have an after the pen video for Wednesday, a throwback for Thursday, my budget for Friday, and then just my regular plan with me videos. And I need to take those photos. All right, today, um, and this might be where we bring in some color. Let's see. All right, today at 12 p.m., I'm going to try to do this a little bit fun, is the Laurel I don't think I spaced this right. Denise accessories launch. I kind of messed it up in terms of the video um, in the videos that I did because I mixed up what was launching when, but I think we've got it back all on track now. Um, and that launch is at 12 p.m. This is the first time that I've been uh, someone to promote one of her launches. So I'm excited to share her products with my audience because they're different products than what I normally use. And I don't typically go away from what I normally use, but I think it's fun to try new things. So we're going to write accessories. launch and that is at 12 p.m. I like a 12 p.m. launch because 12 p.m. is when I post for my clients on Instagram for my job so I'm already going to be on Instagram for about 10 minutes so it gives me the opportunity to share without having to stop like something else that I'm doing work-wise. Okay, um, today's cleaning is going to be my kitchen. And I think that's it. Um, I feel like it'll end up being a busy week, but I also feel like I've gotten myself into a good position content wise. I mean, I'm feeling a little bit like anticipating because as I've spoken about, um, tomorrow is the anniversary of my dad's death and traditionally I always anticipate this day but the 17th at night is usually when I like break down because my last time with my dad was the night before he died and it was a very memorable night and so um, we'll see how tonight goes you know I am planning on focusing as heavily as I can on work just to get through it because this is a tough one for me. So as I'm getting myself emotional, I am going to stop this video. I'm going to start, I'm going to up this morning. I only have about a half hour, so I'm going to update my budget. I'm going to write down the sports schedule um, and see if I can get that email sent to um, my old high school teacher. She's not old, but my, you know what I mean? Okay. I'm going to stop talking. Okay. It is Tuesday morning. Um, I checked off exercise because I've already exercised today and what I did not do yesterday was take photos or read for an hour. I read for about a half hour. I just wasn't feeling it. Um, I think that sometimes I'm my own worst enemy when it comes to my to-do list and I make these giant to-do lists and at the end of the day, like, I don't always want to, whoops. I don't always, I'm not always in the mood. And like, it's okay, right? This isn't like, pay my taxes. This isn't, you know, I don't know, drink water. Like, it's okay. I have to remind myself that it's okay if I don't read for the full hour that I decided I was going to read for. Like, that's, that's just on me. Okay, today is going to be busy. And I don't even know if I'm going to fill all these out. Um... And I need to be mindful of that. So today I do this morning want to film um, a Patreon exclusive video because I think it should be quick. And then clean bathroom. 
I did notice this morning that the IRS did indeed take out money from my bank account as they were owed. So I had a five figure difference in my budget. So we are going to, um, that's right. Um, I'm going to just going to write update budget. I need to, you know, write that down and, and get that all sorted. I mean, I knew it was going to happen and I'm just like, Oh, well, there it is. The IRS does not miss a withdrawal. So this is my first time doing like an automatic withdrawal. Normally I mail a check, but my accountant offered the automatic withdrawal and I just felt like that was going to be better. Okay. Now, um, I'd like to take photos still because I still don't have photos for the rest of the week. I just don't know if it's going to happen and we're just going to be okay if it doesn't. All right. Now today is, um, we're going to write, today I'm going to see that home. I'm not optimistic because I know that there are four offers already. Um, but it's, my realtor said that, why can't I figure out how to spell tour in cursive? My realtor said that it'll be good to still see it just because it'll start my process of like knowing what, um, like what I'm looking for kind of. I feel like I need to do blue here now, but I don't think I have this shade of blue. So we're just going to still do 12, uh, not 12 p.m., but the time. So I know that like the best and final offers are going to be due um, tomorrow on Wednesday. And I just don't know that I'm going to be able to match those, but you never know. We'll see. I'm just not like going into this as in like, I'm going on a house tour today and I, and I'm going to buy a house. You just, you just don't know. I'm very apprehensive about getting excited and going, you know, wanting the first thing I see but there'll be more, right? So we'll see. I mean, I'm still, I asked him if he still wants to go, if he still thinks I should go. I don't want to waste his time and I want to make it, you know, make sense for both of us. So, um, but he said, yes, he's like, no, you're not wasting my time. It's my job. So anyway, all right, this is on my list. Like I said, I already exercised this morning. I did a quick workout because it was all I had the energy for. <clears throat> Today is that anniversary day of my dad. And my grandpa both passing away. So I'm being gentle with myself knowing that, you know, while I, and I'm, while I'm working today, I just don't know how much else I'll have the energy for. I do have, um, some emails. I'm just going to write emails and messages. I think that's one of the biggest things that can be a challenge sometimes with, content creating and the size of platform I have are the emails and the messages, um, the DMS, it'll show me, I have like, let's say eight DMS, right. But if I don't open them, then like the number goes down, it just stops notifying you. So sometimes I have like business inquiries in my Instagram messages, um, and then emails that I just have to get back to. And I try to be good about them, but, um, there's a lot coming in. So <laughs> I'm trying my best. Okay. I'm going to get on with my day. Um, we're going to leave these open and I'm going to try to not feel the need to fill them in. And then um, I guess I'll check in with you tomorrow. And I'm just going to remember today that I am stronger than the storm. Hello, it is Wednesday morning. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, let me preface this. I don't feel well. I don't I think it's a cold or maybe allergies. I did take a COVID test. It's negative. Um, I started not feeling well yesterday, like late morning, and the test was negative. So I think it's just maybe seasonal. I don't know. I don't typically get allergies, but I'm feeling it today. So um, this morning, it is 8.43. I have worked in 15 minutes. I did not exercise this morning. I just laid on my couch and I read. So we are going to give this a check right there already for today. Um, and yesterday I was able to get through my list and also added a few more things because I loved the house. So I had to call the lender, the mortgage lender on my way back from seeing the house to talk about numbers because offers are due today because there's already offers on the house. So 
um, my offer is going in today and we'll see what happens. So let's see, put in my, let's write put in, um, in. I was gonna write like put in my first offer, but put in an offer, kind of crazy. I didn't expect to want to put in an offer because I'm like, it's the first one I see. I don't know with house hunting if that's the case, like how common that is. Probably not that common. I don't know. I don't know anything about this. Um, so we'll see. It's kind of like I don't want to get my hopes up because I know there are other offers. I know that things are going for more than asking. My offer is above asking. So I guess we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll just do a little exclamation point there. Okay. So, yay. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to put exercise. Oh, no, I mentioned I have it here, so I don't need it in this. I just feel like if it's not in my to-do list, it might not happen. I don't know if I want to exercise today. And I'm like hesitant to not, I'm hesitant to say that I don't have to because I've been like, on a streak since March 20th, I haven't missed a day. But if I don't feel well, I don't feel well. Like it ha we have to see how it goes. Okay. So um, there's a couple of things that or at least one thing that I want to film today. So I'm going to write that in there. And then I need to look at my social media planner to see Oh, today there is a free shipping deal for happy planner that I need I want to promote. Um, you know, when I promote these sales, it, uh, lets you guys know that there's a sale, but also for me, it's income. So, you know, as I'm now looking at maybe buying a house, the plan with the lease income, um, you know, it, it, it makes me a little nervous, but hopefully, you know, continues to be consistent. So today's cleaning is going to be my living room. And then um, what else is on my list? I don't know. I feel like I worked so much over the weekend that I don't have a ton of things on my list. Oh, I have happy mail to send to patrons. I was going to do that originally on Monday, but my list just was getting big and I wasn't in the space for it. So um, we'll get that sent out and then maybe just leave the other two. I'm not really sure where, you know, where the day is going to go. So sometimes I'm hesitant to film one of these after the pen videos where I just don't quite know what the week is going to look like. But as I'm sitting here, I kind of want to play around a little bit with these boxes. Like I kind of want to add a little, oops, a little line to these boxes and just kind of make it more fun. Which it's fun to do. I should have probably centered today a little bit better. <laughs> Um, I'm also thinking about my grandma today. Today is her birthday. So she's on my mind. And um, yesterday, emotions wise, I did okay. Um, I did better than I probably expected to do. And a lot of that was because I like stayed off my phone. I really focused on work. And, um, you know, I'd see a text come through or something. And, you know, it would, it would, get me a little choked up for a minute. And then I just, I didn't lean into it. And not that I haven't leaned into grief. I did on, on Monday night. Absolutely. Um, but yesterday I just, I didn't and it's okay. So I'm through it another year through it. And, uh, it would be amazing if that's what I would be able to look at. And you know, if that was, comes to fruition. So we'll see. Okay. I'm rambling again. Um, I just feel like this today's a little boring. I don't have that much to write down. I'm sure something else will pop up throughout the day and I'll check in with you later. Hello, I'm back. Today is Thursday. Let's recap yesterday. Um, I did get everything done on my list. I also added a little bit more. I'm happy to announce I'm now an affiliate with Planner Kate. So I'm just waiting on um, the finalization of my discount code. I just had to set something up yesterday, but I believe it'll be at least 20, but I'll need to confirm that. Okay. Um, yesterday. So I was hopeful that I would hear back about the house last night, but 
they said it was going to be likely on uh, Thursday morning. So we're going to write here, reading, there's not a ton of space, but there should be enough if I go low and small. <laughs> reading, um, and now do I wanna use, let's write Daisy. I think I should finish the book this week. Daisy Jones. And the six. I ended up um, exercising after work yesterday. It was just like the only time that I really could or that I actually had the energy to. So that was yesterday. Okay. Today. This morning. I got a call and my offer was accepted. I feel like I buried the lead there, but my offer was accepted. How crazy is that? That's crazy. I think it's crazy. I don't know. I'm still like, ah. So <laughs> um, I was able to talk. It was, well, yeah, I got the inferno. I got the, oh my goodness. My realtor called me this morning before my workday started. Um, we were actually on my lunch break now, but my realtor called me this morning before my workday started to let me know. So that's why I also checked off exercise because I did work out before my day began today. So there are a couple things that I need to do. So I need to sign paperwork. So I need to sign a rider. And um, what was the other thing that he sent me that I need to sign is addendum, like a condo addendum. So sign, oh my goodness, this is crazy. Okay. I do also have filming to do today. It's going to depend on when my mail comes. I'm waiting on two or three packages today. Um, so what I film will depend on that. <laughs> crazy. Now I want to clean my office. I feel like it's getting a little crazy again. I did do some work on it this morning, but we're going to continue. Um, I still have not finished taking photos. I didn't check it off. I checked it off there through like these two days, but now I want to do, we're going to write weekend. I guess that looks more like week, weekend photos. Oh my goodness. Okay, then I need to go to the bank just to take out my money for the week. Um, and we'll leave the last one blank. So I think here we're going to write offer. It's so crazy to me to think that I'm doing this. Like, I was really trying to not get too excited this morning. I was just like, no, it's not going to happen. They're not going to accept the offer because there were other offers. Um, and my realtor texted me and said, oops, I need space here. Call me when you have a minute. And I was like, well, there it is. That's a no. There's no chance. And... By chance, I had Zoom open this morning because I was scheduling something for Patreon. And I was like, you know what, just in case, let's just hit record. So I hit record and I was able, and I put him on speaker and I recorded my reaction and him saying that I got it. So um, we're gonna write maybe O-M-G. Maybe I'll add something else here. I don't know what else, but I feel like it looks a little blank. So that's gonna be my day. I think the next two months, because we're going to do a 60-day closing, are going to be bananas um, in the most exciting way possible. Hello, it is Friday. I'm feeling very much this week like I'm not getting anything done. And I am. I just think, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what's going on. Part of it might be because I worked so hard the last couple of weeks to really be ahead on my videos. So I don't have a ton of videos to film. That may be part of it. Um, I got through some things yesterday, not all of it. I didn't clean my office and nothing got checked off there. So I don't know. We'll see. I did already exercise and read for an hour this morning. It's been a productive morning. So I didn't, I didn't, I did check this off, but I didn't finish it. So I'm going to write finish our, our video. 
I never write this in my planner, but I'm going to write Starbucks because a friend of mine sent me a Starbucks gift card yesterday to celebrate my offer being accepted. And so at some point today, probably on my lunch break, I want to go to Starbucks just to get like a nice iced tea or something like a, I like their green tea lemonade just for like a midday treat that um, I am not paying for. I have more paperwork to sign, so I'm just going to write email attorney. And then I need to clean out my car. You know what happens? I don't know if you experienced this. I do have reusable water bottles, but every time I like go to a game or something, I grab a water bottle and then it's like half full in my car. And tonight I'm going to my nephew's baseball game and my neighbor upstairs, Betsy, is coming with me. And I need to make sure that my passenger seat is not filled with empty water bottles, half empty water bottles. So we are going to clean out my car and I'm going to try to be better about well, I'm going to clean out my car and also try to be better about um, making sure that I don't have, uh, that I'm bringing a reusable water bottle. Sorry, I lost my words there. Okay, let me just glance over at my social media planner. Um, I did take the weekend photos, so we are good there. I want to set up Zoom reminders because I have a Patreon Zoom next week, and I like to send out a lot of reminders. And then today, I noticed this morning, Happy Planner is having a 20% off sale. 20% oops, sale. And I want to text my friend for her birthday. So that's my list. It's not a huge list, but it's a solid list. Okay, tonight. Um, oh, I forgot something. I mean, it's fine. It's going to happen. It, it's not something I need to check off. But before I go to the game tonight, I'm going to go pick up Jersey Mike's sandwiches for uh, my mom and stepdad and Betsy and myself, but we'll just go on the way. Okay. Um, baseball. Let's write that. I'm so excited. This is the first baseball game of the season. My allergies are not going to be excited, but it's like 71 degrees and I can't wait to sit outside at a baseball game. So I'm going to write 5 p.m. and then I'll write the score over here. Up top, I don't know. I mean, I'm still reading Daisy Jones and the Six. I should finish it today, I think, maybe tonight when I get home. Um, but I could also maybe write watching. Let's leave it and I can always write it down tomorrow. Okay, now tomorrow I'm going to split a box here. Um, let's take... Doo -doo -doo. A highlighter but would be about half here and we're gonna use this as kind of a double box well I got some of the marker from oh, from uh, the pen on the checklist stencil okay tomorrow I'm getting a pedicure with my friend Carly we've had these plans for a while so I have the budget for it this and I'm excited to get a pedicure it's been a while uh February maybe it's not that long I guess I guess it depends on how long you get or how often you get pedicures and then my nephew also has a baseball game at 5 p.m again we're going to be seeing a lot of sports stuff on here over the next couple of months so that's where we are tomorrow. I'll probably have some filming that I'll be doing earlier in the day, but I'm going to get started on today. Hello. It's Saturday morning. Okay. Um, baseball last night did not go well. We did not win, <laughs> but it was okay. It was nice to be outside. However, my allergies killed me. When I got home, I just could not stop like sneezing, runny nose. I think my voice is still a little froggy. So we will see. I still want to figure out how to fix this part. I don't know. Offer. Like maybe we just add like some dots in here. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to make this worse. Um, and I feel like I'm going to write something here. Let's write excited but scared very scary 
I get scared any time that I make a financial decision, and this is the biggest financial decision I've ever made. So I think that's just like, I don't know, one of those things. Okay. Um, I did get everything finished on my to-do list yesterday. And then when I was at the game, I heard from my realtor that we are officially under contract. So in New Jersey, I didn't realize this isn't like nationwide, but you go into attorney review after an offer is accepted and it's usually three business days until you're under contract. But now I'm under contract because we like push to get everything done quickly. So up next is the inspection and then we move forward, we continue moving forward. So I'm gonna write here, I think under, I haven't decided yet when this video is going to go live. Part of me is like hesitant to share it before everything is settled, because what if it falls through? But the other thing is, it's life, right? Like, and, and it's especially life as a planner. We plan what we can, and life happens, and sometimes things don't always go according to plan. And so I have a feeling that this video will still go up before everything is settled. Um, but it's just, I don't know, it's like a little scary, you know, putting it out into the, into the internet universe. So under contract. I don't think I want to write the baseball score like I was going to. <laughs> so I think I'm going to write here, Betsy came just to remember that she came to the game with me. Okay. I know what today looks like. Um, so I am hoping to get some things finished this morning. I need to leave at about 11, um, like 25. And right now it is 8.30, so I have three hours, which is great. So I'm going to film a video. Um, I think it's going to be a dashboard video. And then I have to spend some time doing May Patreon prep. I'm gonna write prep. I need to do an Old Navy return at some point this weekend. Maybe it'll be today. Maybe after the pedicures, I'll do that. I had placed an online order a little impulsively a couple of weeks ago, even to the point where like I ordered two of the same thing. <laughs> so I want to return the whole order. I don't even think that I'm going to try anything on because I don't want to like love something. I'm really focusing on as low of a spend as possible. So I'm going to write Old Navy return. And then let me just check because I feel like I listed somewhere in my planner, in another planner maybe, some other things that were on my mind for today. So what month are we in? April. Um, oh, I want to take out the trash. <laughs> and I need to text my boss because we have the inspection scheduled for Monday and I need to get his approval to kind of leave work a little bit early. Um, I really didn't want to take time off work for this sale, but I think I have to because we need to do the inspection at two o'clock. And the reason it's like somewhat urgent for Monday is because my lease, if I want to move in June, which is the closing date, middle of June. So if I want to move for July and not pay July rent here, I need to give notice a week from Sunday. So I need to give notice by the 30th. I'm now prepared after some conversations with my family, with my realtor, with um, my real estate attorney that I may still be paying July rent to give me some leeway because even though there's a target closing date, things happen, they get pushed back. So um, I still want to get the inspection done Monday. No matter what day I do the inspection, I'm going to have to take a few hours off work. So I just need to talk to my boss about that um, and hopefully, you know, get his approval. So that is what today looks like. Tomorrow, uh, the kids both have soccer. I'll probably write down those schedules tomorrow when I have that in front of me. I think I know the times, but I'm not entirely sure. So this is going to be my morning. I'd also like to exercise and finish reading Daisy Jones and the Six.
Um, I don't know that they'll both happen this morning. They may happen later. So here's my kind of just my game plan. I'm going to film my dashboard and do my May prep and take out my trash. Then maybe exercise, shower, reach out to my boss, probably pick up around my apartment if I have time. Then pedicures are at 12. So I should be home by 1.30, the latest, where I can do my old Navy return on my way home. Then I'll have, let's say now I'm home at 2.30, I'll need to leave at 4.30 for baseball, so I'll still have two hours. So if I want to um, finish reading the book, I think I only have like 40 minutes left in the book. That's what my Kindle is telling me. So this is how I kind of map out a Saturday, is like figure out what I have, when I need to leave, what this is all going to look like, and when each thing needs to get finished. So that is my day, and I'll check in with you tomorrow. Hello, everyone. It is Sunday morning. Um, yesterday, I got everything done except for the Old Navy return. I totally forgot uh, to grab my stuff from Louisville. Ugh. I totally forgot to grab the stuff before I went to get a pedicure. Um, so that was that. But I had a great time with pedicure. I got to see Carly's daughter and uh, baby afterwards and then um, baseball game and we won. So it was a it was a good game. Um, I think I'm actually the score was like a little crazy. I think it was 17 to five. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway. Um, all right. I'm glad I didn't write both of these soccer games today in because my nephew's game has been canceled. It's pretty rainy out. What's interesting is that my nephew's game is later and my niece's game is soon. So I'm surprised that her game didn't get canceled. The game's supposed to start an hour from now. So I'm assuming that it will not get canceled. So hopefully when I write it in here, it will, uh, that will stay. So let's write Scarlet. Soccer, 11, 15. Okay. Now, um, there are some things I need to do today. There's also a couple things that I have already done. So I did already work out and I did already read for an hour. I'm now reading, oh my goodness. Now, of course, I can't remember the name of the book. Oh, I need to figure out what book I'm reading. Um, like if I open my Goodreads. And let that load. <laughs> the night she disappeared. That's what it's called. Okay, today. Um, let me write sign inspection tomorrow. I have the inspection on the house and I need to sign the estimate and choose a package. Then I do need to do the old Navy return. So I'll probably do that on the way home from Scarlet's soccer game. Um, I need to go food shopping. I'm going to go to the grocery store instead of doing Amazon grocery delivery because I want to save money. So, you know, a couple months ago or a month ago, I don't remember, I gave myself a higher grocery budget so I could do grocery delivery. Now I am cutting that back again. I do have a decent amount. I have like chicken that I can make and all of that kind of stuff. What I really need are things for myself for lunch. So my dinners are pretty much taken care of, but I do need to do some meal prep. Like I need to get um, ingredients for salad because I'm going to make chicken and have like chicken salad and like with maybe egg and cheese and like tomatoes and all that. So I need to get some produce and meal prep. Um, I am going to film a vlog today for my patrons and also I need to film my fitness planner. I also need these allergies to go away. And then I think I'm going to leave this final one um, and see what I do with that. Okay, so maybe here I'll write reading. I also started watching a show last night with Kerry Washington on Netflix. It's called The Diplomat and it's really good. So I might watch that later if I have time. Reading The night she disappeared. She's double checking the spelling. Okay, now we're going to leave that final one. So let's go to this area. Sorry, I don't think we're like zoomed out enough, but I'm just going to leave it at this point. Okay. Um, 
I can't believe how much my life changed. this week. Ah, crazy. I may be a homeowner. Let's see if we can fit this soon. Okay. That's the week. Let's, let's actually like lift up and zoom out a little bit. So that's the week. Productivity wise, I feel okay. Um, but, oh wait, I realized we added these little lines in, but I didn't like do that on this side. Productivity wise, I feel okay. There's still some things that I need to get finished before the end of May, um, but I'm feeling like I'm in a good spot. I'm feeling cautious, I'm feeling excited, I'm feeling scared. I'm feeling relieved to have gotten through the anniversary that I was anticipating so much. Um, and yeah, I think, I think that might be a wrap on this video. So it's another very chatty after the pet video, but I hope that you enjoyed and thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you soon.